Hello, welcome to Healthy Living Pita channel by Florence Striker. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make akara or kose. This is a Ghanaian recipe in two ways. I'm going to show you how to make kose or akara in two ways. And this is a very delicious Ghanaian recipe. This is made with black eyed peas beans and we are going to put everything together. You can eat this kose or akara with porridge this or hausa koko. This is one of the Ghanaian porridges that we eat in the morning and so this is going to be delicious and i'm going to show you how i make mine at home and it's going to be delicious so stay with me as i put everything together and you will love it <laughs> so to make our akara or kose we are going to use the black eyed pea beans in two ways and this is three cups of beans and i'm going to soak this overnight so i'm adding water to these beans and i am going to soak this overnight and by tomorrow it should soak nicely for the skin to be easy to come off and then we'll blend and make our kose or akara this is going to be very delicious so this is beans we i have soaked these beans overnight um it makes it a little easier feel because we are not going to use our hand to peel this individually i'm going to blend this and as you can see its skin comes off easily and that's going to help us get all the skin off and you can see this the beans has swelling up <laughs> a lot this is three cups of beans and then i I am just going to start blending this this we are going to make this kara or kose in two ways uh, we are going to have the one with the skin and then the one without the skin and we're gonna see how it comes out all right so i put the beans in the blender and i'm just gonna pause this until all the skin comes Alright, so we just finished blending and you can see this is how it kind of all comes out nicely and we're just going to strain this and get the water out and make sure we have all the skin out of here and this looks good so let me just and i'm going to use the same water since i don't want to waste too much water straining this i'm just going to strain this in here And this is our final beans has been washed nicely all the black in has been taken off the final product and we are going to start making our akara or kose so i'm going to use some uh, pepper with onion two slices of ginger and then we have three stalk of fresh spring onions we are going to add that so i am just going to cut this quickly and we're going to use that to blend and also put it in as we are frying our ingredients that we are going to use we have red pepper and then we have onions the one we are going to blend with and then also the one we are going to put it in before we fry so i am going to add some in here because we are doing this akara or kose in two ways the one with the skin first and then we're going to put that at the bottom we are going to add a ginger in here before we blend and we are going to add half of onions the big ones in here and that's just one and then we are going to add our beans and you can blend in badges if your blend is gonna be too much so we are going to do just that and you just add a little water not too much water because we you don't want to add too much water to your akara because it's gonna be watery we want it to be thick so you just add a little cup maybe half cup of water to it so it's gonna start
and as you can see see how thick it is nicely nicely you can see the color very nice because we don't want it to be too watery so now you see our cara so this we need to we want this to be fluffy so we are going to either beat this with a whisk or we are going to electric whisk to make sure that we blend this down so make it fluffy and go we fry it but look at the texture it looks so amazing looks so great and then the spices all the things that i put in is so great as well so let's mix all this together and we'll start frying soon now we are going to start blending our second acara the one with the skin we are going to put in our onions as well we are going to add our beans and this, this is with the skin it's gonna blend that as well and we are going to add half cup of water and then we're just going to start blending this all right so we just finished blending our akara beans the one with the skin and you can see that's how we want it not too watery but making our kara in two different ways so this is our akara okose mix that we just blend this is the one with the skin and you can see the difference this is the one without the skin and so now we are going to make sure that we we mash this to become very fluffy before we start frying so i'm going to start okay so we are going to start so we just finished and you can see how fluffy it is that's how we want it and the same thing we have finished this as well and you can see how fluffy it looks and so we are ready to start frying our pose or akara two ways and this is going to be very delicious all right so both of our two ways of akara is ready and i am going to add a little seasoning to it so this is one maggi cube and i'm going to make it with both of these half of each and then then we're gonna add one tablespoon of salt it's just to your taste so we're gonna do that okay one thing i have noticed is when you make the akara then once you mix it start frying it quickly because i noticed it started settling down and then it started you know making a uh, watery just because of all the ingredients that we put in so just keep that in mind when you are making it once you finish mixing everything and you add everything to it and it's ready start frying your kara or kose if you let it sit down too much it's going to be watered all right so just that is in mind and we can add a little salt to this because this is a little bit more and we're gonna add our spring onion and then our actual onion the same thing we're gonna put in here and we are going to mix everything together and as you can see this as well this all together what you can do also is as you are blending you, you blend the spices separate from the beans and so then once you are done beating it all up nicely then you can just add the the blended the blended pepper before you start and so you can see our akara blend is ready and we're just going to start blending now i'm going to add a little bit of salt you can taste it before fry so you know how much salt is in there and i just taste mine and that's why i needed to add a little bit more salt it you know you just have to put in mind when you are adding this adding the salt so you don't add too much salt Frying. all right so i do have the oil all right so our oil is ready we are going to start frying in badges so our akara okose is floating nicely on top of the oil so we are just going to let it cook nicely and just let it cook at least five seven minutes before we turn it and it will so nice colorful so we just have to let this cook out so it's almost done on one side and you can see it and we are just going to turn this around at least it's been five to six minutes for this depending on how fluffy your butter is the beans butter it's going to take a little bit longer for it to cook this is a little bit thicker it's not too fluffy 
you can see it's turned nicely and it's coming out great 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 this is what we want see nicely nice as well and it's browning nicely too perfect akara all right so it is coming out nicely as you can see it's browning nicely for us and i'm just gonna turn in one more and it is ready to go this looks so yummy 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 and our kose is ready look at that we're just gonna put this in coriander so all the oils drain out and we put it on a paper towel looks so yummy all right so we just finished frying uh the kose or akara without the skin and now we are going to fry the one with skin and so we are just going to start putting this in here right now the oil is warm see put it in And you can see it's floating already we're just gonna let this cook and then we'll come back and turn it around and see how it comes out all right so we are just gonna turn this out you can see how lovely this looks like you see the difference see that this has all the peas the black the, the skin on it so it looks different but it's the same process you will use to make it and look at how lovely it looks and it's all floating nice okay so we are second turn and this is done 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 looks amazing smells good looks crunchy lovely love yeah we're gonna take it out of the oil look at that all right so this is our last badge of the akara or kose with the skin on and it's ready ready to go and this is a meal that you can find early in the morning on the street of ghana uh it's a, a snack that goes with porridge or cocoa we call it and so you can eat this anytime but where find it common or how find it common only it's always on the streets of Ghana every street or every corner you will see somebody making this snack and selling it on the roadside and it goes with cocoa and it is delicious very crunchy and it tastes good depending on how you make it so we are just taking everything out now and we are going to see how it tastes like all right so friends we just finished making akara or kose two ways and you can see the difference this one is the one with the skin and and then this is the one without the skin and then all i'm gonna do i'm gonna break this out and you can see how look at it look inside it's so amazing like that and then look at this as well so nice and you can see the inside and then the inside of this as well this is delicious this is nice and i am going to give it a taste and you can see how lovely this looks like the inside and it, this is very very crunchy as well so i am I'm going to taste it and we'll see how it, it tastes like here we are we have our kose and our akara ready this is two ways we made it you can see it's lovely and it smells good with the ingredient that we use black eyed pea beans and then also with vegetables and um, you can mix anything you want i use spring onions red bell pepper then also i use a little cayenne pepper in it i also use onion in it and it's crunchy because i taste it earlier so i'm gonna taste it again so you can see mm. Mm. this is mm -mm. So this is with, with this is with the skin, everything included, and this tastes delicious. The salt nicely in there. You can add your choice of uh, vegetables to it. You know, I just I add uh, spring onions and onions, bell pepper, um, add the red bell pepper in it, and it's delicious. And then I'm gonna taste the one without the skin, which is this one. Mm. <laughs> this is delicious. I always I always like the one without the skin on it because this is something and uh, this is a snack that you can find in Ghana in every corner in the morning because it is snacks that goes with porridge any porridge that we make in ghana so early morning every corner that you pass you'll be seeing someone making akara or kose on the roadside so this is like something you can find on the roadside almost every corner you find this porridge we call it cocoa or hausa cocoa that you can find and buy it on your way to work a little breakfast and so you can eat this anytime but it is something that goes with morning you know and so this is something that i'm used to and i I love it especially the one without the skin on it because it just is so smooth you can add any vegetables that you want or how you want to make it 
then it, it is an easy process you just soak your beans uh, for one hour two hours this i soak it for overnight so the beans was already soft the skin was easy to off so i didn't spend too much time getting the skin of the beans which is this that's what i make today and i hope this video helps you in any way and if it does do not forget to subscribe to this channel like comment and share if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below for me and i'll get back to you as always i thank you for watching the video stay healthy stay blessed and i love you to try this kose or akara two ways and see how you like it and leave it in the comment section below for me and i will answer you back as always i'll see you on my next video take care bye bye